Good morning. It's not morning. Good afternoon. I'm so happy you're here. We daily vlog. You can finish it. He is loving his Mickey Mouse today. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. When you have 30 minutes in the middle of your day, you bring your baby to the park for a quick little adventure. Hey, oh, we're at the park, and what does James find to play with? The little people farm. Also, we have the park completely and utterly to ourselves. James, we got the place to ourselves. What do you want to do? You want to run around? Him and that small people animal farm. He was just like that at Lauren's. Oh, nice thinking. Put the little people farm in the medium people door. I told you you got this whole place. What do you want to do? You want to shake that wall up? You can shake it up. Wow. You wanna come up here with me? Or you want me to come down? Okay, where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, you wanna climb this? You wanna go up, up, up? <laughs> it's so delicious. <laughs> Show you these sweet messages that are written on here. You are amazing. You are beautiful. You are loved. And this one stay wild, free, and wonderfully void of reason. Hey, we're about to go down the slide. Yeah, it's a slide into sand. No, you don't want to do it. <laughs> no. What if Dad helps you on the slide? favorite thing about this park, which is like this, like this cute little, like one plot, is that there's like all these toys and things to play with and use that are just like left by the people of the neighborhood. They use like this wagon. Just a little stroll and a wagon in the park. Beautiful. Mmm. Okay, look at this big kid. We're on the go eating some pizza. You pretty much sent off his college applications today. Truly, that hat. He's got overalls on. Um, we are headed to Gallagher Way at Wrigley Field to check out a French market. We got an email that was like, last night. We were like, we didn't even know this was a thing. Are we already a uh, last night? On since May. Yeah, so we're headed there. Up, 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 up. you see it? are usually filled with people. 
Are you gonna relax? Got some, some jazz playing. Funny enough, ACS is here with their breast cancer walk coming up. Just not too many tents, but just the right mixture of some produce, some candle making things, some empanadas, some pastries, some jewelry. Typical mm, French market, I presume. Sarah's running out with Jamesy like crazy. What do you got on your head? <laughs> what? What? American Cancer Society sticker. Sticker? Sticker, yeah. Oh, you're very passionate. Where's the water? Oh, whoa. Check, one, two. One, two, yep, two. That one's blinking. We on JMJ. And we just gonna try and get y'all some tunes, something smooth, something cool, while y'all do y'all shopping and get y'all in and out of the way, yeah? tired James or mom we just took a break for the cinnamon roll is it good Just a little fun for the afternoon. We're gonna go home, cook up some dinner. I, I think it was just a marketing spin. It's so good. It's Teddy, uh, Teddy fell asleep on me here. So hopefully he'll have a good little snooze and we'll go home, make up the rest of dinner, kind of hang out. Yeah? Yeah. Don't Prepare for tomorrow being Friday. Hey, oh. Trying to find Riot Fest tickets last second. Because now like people are just selling them to get rid of them. And we're not going to the When We Were Young Festival in Vegas anymore. We definitely want to go Saturday for yes. Yellow Card. Yellow Card's like my all, one of my all-time favorite bands. Like yeah, top three. I think it's like your top one. I don't know, I think Andrew McMahon is yeah. now. Before before and like before our like love for Andrew like came back about. Yellow Card was your number one. And they're just playing all of Ocean Avenue. Which is like, that album. probably the album I know literally the most out of any artist of all time, even Andrew. Yeah. Um, but tomorrow is My Chemical Romance, Taking Back Sunday, and Bleachers. So we're gonna try for tomorrow and Saturday, but definitely Saturday. Yeah, I, I think we'll be able to get Saturday, even if it comes down to like, buying the tickets on one of the websites like Saturday morning. Yeah. It's just gonna be, are we going tomorrow too? Yeah. We are back home. Look at this sweet poppers. Want leftovers? And water. Lots of water. So you just out of nowhere, swiftly turn around, and sit down on the chair. Like, ah. You in your relaxing chair? Hey, we got tomatoes, pot stickers, leftover. Vegetable mushroom delicious brothness with noodles, fresh cup of water, and we are half of the way secured to going to Riot Fest this weekend. Uh, yeah! <laughs> we got a big kid in big kid overalls. <laughs> hey! Isn't he cute? He's already growing out of his zero to three month clothes, so I'm trying to just pack it in. <laughs> James is eating some Reese's Pieces. We're jamming up the yellow card because we acquired tickets for Riot Fest this weekend. And deals. Deals. So we actually got the two 
three day passes for the whole weekend. We're not gonna go on Sunday, so we don't need we didn't need the three day. Right, but it's still it was still a deal. Yeah. So only going taking back days. Sunday. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, my chemical romance tomorrow. Maybe bleachers tomorrow. Saturday's yellow card, the entire Ocean Avenue album, which is one of my favorite albums of all time. Yeah. Never seen yellow card ever. I even had their autograph for a while. <laughs> hey, that's. Some dirty feet up there on the table. We're gonna need a bath time. Ooh, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> and we don't plan on going on Sunday, but Jimmy Eat World is playing Sunday, so if some by weird turn of events we end up not going Jimmy to the suburbs. Jimmy Eat World is one of my top favorites. Yeah. Oh, that would be amazing. But it's only an hour set. So is it worth like? We just gotta run 20 miles and we had other plans in the suburbs. Yeah. We have, so pretty much we've turned our weekend into an extremely packed but fun weekend. Everything is gonna be all right. <sighs> Things kind of took a turn at bedtime, like bath time slash bedtime. Um, Teddy actually fell asleep before his bath, so James took a bath. Um, but then James was getting ready for bed, and I took over that. Teddy woke up, and Peter gave him a bath. James was great going to bed with me. Um, but things were just like kind of like the switching off was a little chaotic. But then we were chill. Teddy was chill. Peter was cleaning up out here. Um, but then Teddy started like to get ready, like to get sleepy. And Peter tried to give him a bottle. And he's just been in this phase where like he just all of a sudden does not want a bottle anymore. Which is fine. And I've been able to, you know, accommodate his wants and... Um, all of that but it's just starting to get to the point where before it was like oh maybe he's just like doesn't want it right now but like now it's been consistent and now I'm like oh just a little bit this it's just like uh it's on my mind because sooner or later like there will be a moment in time where like I can't be there for him and it's always been comforting to know if I'm not home for something that he would take a bottle if um if he was hungry or if he needed that comfort. Um, but now he's just like straight up refusing it. And we've tried, like I have pumped breast milk and we have had formula, um, a few different bottles. We got the bottle that matches his favorite binky. Um, and he, we've been trying to do that at least once a day just to be like, oh, you're not upset. Like, let's just have some bottle. Like, like just kind of making it normal and and he will take it then but it's in those moments of like when we would actually need him to take the bottle like tonight when I was putting James down and he was with Peter um that he's just beside himself and nothing does the trick um so yeah that was kind of a longer ramble than I expected to say um, but if you have any suggestions about a baby that used to take a bottle fine um, and now they are refusing it let me know things that we want to try are fresh breast milk compared to frozen um, warming the bottle up um, it's just like recently we haven't really been able to like set ourselves up for success it's kind of happened at a moment's notice where we didn't expect it to so we were both kind of just like beat after that we were so funny we were like finishing up dinner was like we're gonna do bath time right away we're gonna go to bed early tonight and it was literally like a three a three hour process um from that point until now um I'm kind of like kicking myself a little bit because I feel like with Jamesy we prioritize like continuing giving him a bottle from the start whereas like with Teddy I haven't prioritized that like it's just worked out with the convenience of breast of breastfeeding like it has just worked out in our favor that I've like handled Teddy's feeding needs um especially like in the middle of the night like Peter always wakes up with James I always wake up with Teddy it's kind of just been how we've handled things and I just like am thinking like what if we had just always you know, always had him, reg like, had a bottle, so it wasn't all of a sudden this foreign object. I can play what ifs in my mind, I just have to, I can't be so hard on us, because this could happen very well, even if he 
was a, a fan of the battle. Um, yeah, all right. I, this is even more of a long ramble than I expected. But again, I ask if you have any suggestions to leave them in the comments. And um, I'm definitely going to keep up giving him a battle during the day um, just as like a familiarity thing. Um, because as of right now, I think that that's the biggest thing is like, I don't, if he can at least just accept it and not fight it. That would ease our worries for sure. And it is hard to like, it's just hard to um, have him struggle. And um, we both just want him to be happy. Um, and so yeah, it would be, it would be helpful. I also wanted to share some fall clothes that we got for Jamesy, some sales. This is from Target. Um, cute little button up shirt. It's also reversible, so you can see that other pattern in there. Pretty cool. You can make it like folly, but like I also see like adding in some greens and it being a Christmassy outfit. Um, he's got this from Gap. That's a pocket tee, long sleeve. Same with that, but black. And then this like dark green. I love this color so much. Um, like thermally shirt. And then a red one. This is actually like kind of a different little pattern. Um, so those are some fall basics we got him. And two new pairs of shoes. We got him these little jimmies. They're a little bit more like formal, if you will. And then these. These are, are one of our favorites from Target. They're Cat and Jack brand. They're 10 bucks. There's so many different patterns. Um, and with kids' feet growing so fast and also just like Jamesy's feet are stinky and he plays hard. Like it is nice knowing that there's like a nice pair of shoes out there that like doesn't have to cost a ton of money if um, you end up going through them. I cannot believe Jamesy's already a size 7 shoe. He's literally... A teenager and I cannot forget the little fall coat that we got for Teddy this is it this is brown corduroy with the Sherpa lining so cute I encourage you to go on Gap and Old Navy right now there's so many sales so we still have to get Jamesy a a fall coat but because when we move like when the boys are born, born at opposite times of the year. Um, basically, like, the sizes and the seasons don't really, like, match. So, James never had a fall coat. So, we needed to get one for Teddy. Look at these sleepies. I've been doing a good job editing at night. But it makes for later, later bedtimes. Big weekend. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.